Hello everybody, my name is Tide Statistic, and I am bringing you some gameplay of Fallout 4. I finally figured out how to do this intersect thing with the machines. Now sit back, relax, and watch. Done. It was that fucking easy. I don't want to walk into it. Uh, Victor. Maxon's waiting to talk to you. Sir. And I'm not throwing the Remarkable switch until work, he night. gives us the go-ahead. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing. You'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Nothing's gonna stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager to get inside, huh? Good. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. Okay. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Okay. Consider it done, Elder. Very good. Very good. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. Oh, is that like a salute? Appreciate it. Ready? I've checked and rechecked everything. Let's fucking bounce. Fucking bounce. Let's fucking bounce. No? Do I have to turn on my radio? Was the classical? Oh, oh, yeah. Ingram? I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Yeah. Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. You have your assignment, soldier. Move out. You have to be so cocky, dude. I can't even open my pit boy anymore. Have fun over here. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever asset. little program if on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well. Looks like we have a winner. Thank fucking All God. Wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 
Refrain from opening spiking, fire but inside steady. the institute. All that's left it is could to jeopardize our entire mission. Switch. Bitch, I'm gonna fucking blow up three, shit. Two, one. Stay safe, soldier. <laughs> oh no, I, I actually did hurt a little bit. I have blow on my screen. I can't see. Woo! Travel far. I was expecting kind of like a vault, like Vault Tech. Oh, that would have been bad if it was actually working. Looks like something from Portal. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Broken. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I wouldn't try me. I'm I'm Jesus. It's pretty cool. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the institute. Holy shit. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. When did you figure that shit out? When I fucking came halfway across the world to find him? I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean. Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Yes. It's me. Your dad. I'm here, Sean. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Damn it. Sean! Open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. 
The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I, I don't now. I don't yes. know how to yes you could comprehend and this. I would be powerless to stop you I'll make this very simple where is my son he's here in the Institute closer than you think but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined you have traveled very far oh God. and suffered a great deal to find your son well your tenacity and dedication have been real it's good to finally meet you after all this time it's me i am sean i am your son Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? Sixty years. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute. And now its leader. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. Hmm. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. Well then. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me... And you. Sean. It's really you. It really is.
What's going on here? Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenge. Let's I was gonna to kill him. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... <sighs> I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. Uh -huh. You have traveled very far. Uh -huh. It's good to finally meet you. I am. We've gone over this. Yes, in the vault. But then, is it really? And here I. <sighs> Hell of a story. But I guess. I'm glad you're willing to accept. Uh -huh. At that time, the year 2220. We've Some already gone over this shit. Yeah, you lost me. You don't see the connection. The institute endeavored to. Plenty of that was available, of course, uh -huh. even in their attempts. But then, I was... Uh -huh. I am their father. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just The fuck was that eye movement? What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the... Many times. Of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. Oh, I sure. don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. Or Kellogg. Worked for you. Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. After what I've seen, I pity the man. He was as much a victim as anything. After what he did to you, I'm shocked you would be so generous. But yes, I understand you've experienced things. Perhaps you ended up knowing him better. I, for one, will never truly forgive him. 
The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. Right. I won't lie. Too bad I fucking killed him. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Ah, uh, yes? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Is all that really necessary? What's there to learn? For now, it is enough that you understand that the Institute really is devoted to the betterment of humanity. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to as long me. as you don't take my guns. Meet the I'm people fine. you'll be working with. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads, Doctor Fillmore in facilities, Doctor Ao in SRB, Doctor Holdren in bioscience, and finally Doctor Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Primary drive servo. Nothing to it's report, the third sir. Primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 <coughs> roll out. Scanning there we go. Identity. All set. Clearance Unit, you can confirmed. return to duty. Hi, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son well, and keep okay. him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'm gonna go kill myself in a bathroom a with some the jet and psycho and a and little bit of buff out. any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, 
Does that mean you're on board? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. If there's anything... It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. Uh -huh. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Thanks again. Of course. Alright, thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to cut the video right here. If you liked my video, please hit that like button. You got any questions, comments, open criticism, drop them in the comments. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.